I just ain't the same no more. So this channel gotta change, you know what I'm saying? Cause I changed, the channel gotta change. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Queens No Quiche and I am back on YouTube. Hey YouTube family. <laughs> Today I decided to do a video to start off. Really this, this, this video is really my testimony and my story of like where God has taken me from. I've had a lot of time to like reflect in the month of September and just to see how far I've come, I would be doing you guys at the service and myself at the service to not share how far I've come since I started this YouTube channel. Okay, so so I want to just be vulnerable and open about my relationship with God because that has been a major, 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 uh, <laughs> has a major impact on my life and the decisions I make, how I move. It has changed me. It has changed me. And... I just ain't the same no more. So this channel gotta change. You know what I'm saying? Cause I changed, the channel gotta change. YouTube channel in 2018. And when I started this YouTube channel, I started my entrepreneurship journey kind of simultaneously. Like I had quit my nine to five um, working in corporate America to become a full-time entrepreneur. And I didn't know what that looked like, but I knew that God gave me vision to be an entrepreneur. And at that time I was listening. If you guys don't know who she is, check her out, Tatum Tamia. Tatum to me, am I saying it right now? Or to me, Tatum, all right? Blessed and Bossed Up podcast was a podcast where this girl was basically quit her nine to five to start entrepreneurship. And she was helping guide women like myself to have God be the CEO of our businesses. So at the time, like, you know, it was cool and cliche. I mean, I like the vibe. Like, okay, God is my CEO. I gotta win, right? But my journey did not look anything like I thought it would look like. Uh, or anything that I, I thought, like, if God has guided me, surely there's going to be, this is going to be a quick and easy process and I'm going to get to where I need to get to. Uh, but that was not the case. <laughs> had a lot of character building, character development, um, life, healing, healing from trauma, therapy. I started to do therapy. All these things that I never thought that I would have to do, um, I went through. Um, and it was difficult. There's ups and downs. I, you know, there's, there's a lot of blessings as well during that time, but my gosh, I went through a lot. And I think, I think all the things that I went through, no regret. I'm so grateful that I went through them because today here I am in 2023, a better Keisha, a renewed Keisha, like a, a changed peaceful like you know what i'm saying i still got stuff i'm i'm always going to be on a continuously healing journey that's something that i'm learning but like you know i just allow myself setting boundaries you know reading books and just encouraging myself my health i'm getting healthier you know i'm just in a better state in my body so I'm really gonna tap in on my most kind of like, I guess, viral or most viewed videos on YouTube. Um, and then just tell you guys where I am currently. Um, so 2018, started my YouTube channel. I did my little frontal install that I was killing it. I used to do my makeup videos. And now I still do my hair actually. I've gotten better with the frontals. If we could just talk about that, you know, I'm saying get myself a pat on the back. I got <laughs> better with the frontal stuff, but I also got better with my natural hair, just wearing it, embracing it, praying over it, talking to it. And as you guys can see, my hair has grown so much. Like go back to my videos. Um, one of the most viewed videos on here is my seborrheic dermatitis video and at the time when i had seborrheic dermatitis not a lot of people had seborrheic dermatitis at least not in my vicinity my immediate community um so when i came out and i showed my bald spot and i showed you know my hair was shedding and i was like what am i gonna you know my embarrassment and my stories about getting braids and my dandruff just being crazy um yeah 2023 fast forward my hair is thriving i've learned to love my hair i've learned to to really, you know, just take care of my hair. And I can see the fruit of it. I can see the fruit, the result. You guys can go back to those videos and see for yourself. Um, my hair has been so good. My scalp has been doing well. Go back to that video, I used to do the shampoo. 
uh, the, the shampoo that the doctor gives, but it's really stripping to your hair. It's like medicine for your hair. And if it gets in your eye and your mouth, it's nasty. Ew. It was so gross. Um, but it was doctor recommended and looking forward to sharing more about my hair journey and what I've been doing with you guys. So that's my little update for the hair support so dermatitis. Um, vlogs. We're going to be bringing back vlogs because you guys really enjoy the vlogs. And I feel like you guys got to know me um, like a little better and know like my family and friends and things like that. So I definitely want to continue to do that. Um, my vlogs, especially my trips, my vacations, definitely. I have some trips in the arsenal that I never put on here that I will be uploading. And I have to because it was God. It was God. Those are the trips that happened. I went to Dubai a little bit like during the pandemic. And when I tell you amazing, amazing experience, I recommend Dubai 10 out of 10. It was amazing. Okay. And then I also went to Grenada. Oh my God. I fell in love with Grenada, the people, the the culture, the food, just the whole vibe. Grenada is everything. So I'll definitely be sharing my 30th birthday trip to Grenada. A lot of you guys loved kind of how I had the layout, the flyer, the invitation. So I'll share that too on here and probably TikTok. Um, just to show you guys, you know, what, what's been happening. Some, some trips I just, I vlogged, but I just didn't even put the time and effort into YouTube like I am about to do now. So the vlogging will continue. Another major video that got some views on my channel were fibroids. At the time I shared my story with fibroids, I don't know if a lot of people had it. Like, it, again, close in my close proximity, my community, I didn't hear nobody talking about this. I have gone through a lot, guys, with my when it comes to my body, my hair, my mental. I've gone through so much and uh, a lot of the times I sometimes I get hard on myself about my business like oh I could be here I should be doing this I should have been through this I already know this but I really had to there's a lot of stuff I couldn't do because of my physical body was going through what I was really going through through my body and the trauma that I was carrying and how it affected my body so um, I did have fibroids I did um, do the surgery for the fibroids I shared that testimony with you guys on there so just go back and watch that video um, but I'm happy to announce in 2023, after going to my doctors and doing a lot of blood work and blood tests, first of all, they tried to tell me, <laughs> we're going to get into this, but this is how good my God is. I went to a couple doctors. So I got a couple doctors because I just wanted to be sure, like, wh what's happening down there? Are we good? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And is she, is she righty and tidy? Can we, you know, when the time comes, can we start a family? Is this going to affect me? For the rest of my life, am I going to be having irregular periods? Which, you, if you have fibroids, then you know it's, it takes a lot out of you. And um, fast forward to now, I do not have fibroids. There is nothing in my body right now that shows that I even had fibroids. Like a doctor tried to tell me, uh, one of the doctors that I visited tried to tell me that I did not have fibroids at all. God, you know what I'm saying? At that first, I was getting irritated with her because I'm like, how are you going to try to tell me about my experience? I'm the one that was in the bed having to sleep a certain way so that when the blood just... I'm sorry, this might be too TMI for y'all, but this is okay. This is a safe space. If you're watching this, you know what I'm saying? You ain't don't judge. But like, I'm the one that went through that experience for months. You know what I'm saying? For months. For this doctor to tell me there's nothing, there's no sign of anything. My uterus is beautiful. You know, at the time, I didn't realize it, but when I got home, I was like, wow, God, like, you're a healer. You're a God who heals. I've been praying for this thing to, like, you know, like, th there's so many outcomes that can happen with fibroids. I've seen it now in my personal life with my friends and family, what they're going through, and to see now where I am and how God has healed me. Oh, my God. I, I, I had to make this video. I had to give this testimony because... It's possible, guys. It's possible. Like, my body is completely healed. And I, I think nothing but Jesus. I thank God. You know what I mean? Like, there's no cure for fibroids. You know what I mean? People, I see people on YouTube. I've watched a couple videos on here. People have drink with tea, remedies. They got rid of it. Some people have not. Some people, they get rid of it and it comes right back. And that's what happened to me. When I first had it in 2016, then it, it, it stopped then it came back, but like to even hear them say now that there's nothing 
and that everything looks amazing, I'm just like, what? And they don't have an explanation for it. You know what I mean? They don't have an explanation for it. it they can't because this is a spiritual thing. This is the God that I serve who can tap into, into my impossible situations and make them possible. So yeah, your girl is fully healed from that. And I'm so, so grateful. And I hope that, you know, the ladies who are watching this, that this encourages you because I know that Firebirds is not an easy thing. It's not easy to deal with. You know what I mean? There's there's scriptures that talk about this lady in the Bible who was dealing with blood for 12, I think it was 12 years. I could be wrong, but she, the woman who was dealing with blood for 12 years, she tried everything. And the only thing that could heal this woman was a touch. She touched Jesus's garment and was healed. She felt the blood just completely stop. And uh, although I wasn't in the same position the 12 years, but like to have this thing just removed from my body to the point where doctors are like, wow, it looks beautiful in there. You know what I mean? Like only God, only God, only Jesus could be able to heal me from this. So what I would say is just stay hopeful, stay encouraged and try Jesus. Okay. Touch the hem of his garment. Okay. So he can hear you like he's healed me. Okay. Um, no, but really, I know that that's not easy. And I do want to share I think in more videos, I'll share kind of like remedies and things that I've done outside of just praying and fasting to God and asking him to heal me. I'll definitely share. You guys can look forward to hearing more about that. And maybe I can get some people on here to share their stories and testimonies about fibroids because a lot of women have it now. A lot of women are going through it. A lot of women, and they, you know, they're quiet about it. Another thing too I would say is there's freedom in 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 sharing. There's freedom in healing and sharing your experiences and your stories. So I encourage you guys to find community and share. You don't have to go through this alone. I was silent for a long time. I'm like, you know what? I could deal with this on our own, which a lot of us black women, mm -hmm, talk to y'all. We like to go through things and think we can just carry the world on our back. But this is not something that you want to go through alone. You don't have to go through this alone. This is not... <sighs> Bleeding is one thing, but bleeding like continuously, you're losing, your iron is low, you don't have the same energy, you can't be as active, you're moody, your, things are changing, your body's not functioning in the way that it's supposed to, my God, like, just tap in, y'all, definitely open your mouth, share with people that you trust, I'm not saying go tell the whole world, if that's what you want to do, that's fine, I'm, look at me, I'm on this platform sharing, but I, I felt led by God to really just talk about how he's changed my life. Um, so do what fits you. Um, at the time I started my YouTube channel in 2018, I also did not, um, have a job, but I want to fast forward. So I have worked like jobs here and there, freelance jobs and things like that. Um, most recently, my most recent job was like working at a woman's shelter. And as you guys know, the migrant situation that's happening in the United States is, it's getting crazy. Um, but for me to be able to see that firsthand and be involved and in helping families get situated and seeing how they're being treated and how the government is, oh y'all, when I tell y'all it's a mess, I no longer work there, so that's not that's new news. But uh, working there really opened my eyes and allowed me to tap into things that. I, I guess character building skills and leadership skills that I really, maybe I was shy away from or wasn't as comfortable in, especially like the healthcare field, dealing with people and their problems and mental health. Like that for me was like, okay, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm grateful for that experience because I learned so much and I'm taking it with me into, into Queens. No. So this is, this is probably the last part of this video where, um, in 2018, I shared that I would be starting entrepreneurship. And I didn't know what that would look like, honestly. I had an idea and I shared what I felt like God was showing me, but I didn't really know fully. Uh, there's another testimony I have to give you guys about my car and how I was able to get my car with no no money in the bank account. Like, I got a brand new Mercedes, no money. Nothing but God connections in his will and alignment. And I'm, I'm so grateful because the car, honestly was just another thing, him answering another prayer. Cause I was like, I don't have a car. You know, I'm about to make my head my thirties. You know, I need, I need to get around. Obviously there's Uber and other things, forms of transportation and 
I was fine, but like I really wanted a car. I really wanted a white Mercedes Benz. I wanted a G wagon. That's what really was my prayer. But you know what I'm saying? I got I got the car. Like I got the brand of the car. Like God answered my prayers, and I'm I'm so grateful to do that car. I was able to even do Turo and start another business venture. So that was another stream of income. I'm telling you guys, blessings on blessings. Sometimes you you don't know what's gonna take place in your life, and sometimes when it's bad, we kind of like. You know, like, why would God do this to me kind of thing? And it's just like, no, actually, you know, some of the decisions you made led to this. And he, he'll he he'll make it work out for your good. But ultimately, you know, you have the choice whether or not you want to be led by him. So all that to say, I was working um, earlier this year. And I felt strongly God was like, you, it's done. You're done deal. You're quitting your nine to five. Crazy to be in that situation now as an adult because I just feel like, before I was like fresh in my faith with God. I was excited. I, you know, I didn't know what it would look like. And now I have more experience and more maturity. So if God is telling me this, I just know that, okay, you want me to tap back into these avenues, this this entrepreneurship avenue where YouTube was a thing, right? Queens know, as you guys know, is my baby, my my that's how I started my business as a clothing line, and then it turned into like a community. For women, I started doing events, pop-up shops. It just, it grew into something more than I could ever think or imagine. And I'm so grateful. But now we're going into the nonprofit world, the nonprofit segment, so we can actually be tangible, be be tangible assets to women in leadership, especially specifically Black women in leadership, because we go through a lot. I was, I am a woman in leadership and to, to go back and reflect on everything I went through, my body, my scalp, my hair. Come on, y'all know we, when our hair is together, we feel good. We look good. You know what I'm saying? These are the things that I was going through in leadership that if I didn't go through it with God, I don't know where I would be right now, guys. Like my mental health, going starting therapy, that's not something that my family, you know what I'm saying? Like just anybody that is around me is doing therapy is nothing but i'm i was like once i started i was like wow look at the change in my life and i'm a big advocate for going to therapy there's things that you're carrying that you don't need to carry let it go that's why your body is not functioning away too because you holding on to stuff you holding on to traumas you holding on to the molestation you're holding on to the to the 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 breakup you know the the abuse you gotta let that thing go honey because your body is going through it as you holding on to it um so that's another thing too on this channel i talked about my therapy journey and how i started therapy and i was an advocate for therapy so now my mindset has just changed obviously she can't be on the channel with me but you know she tells me how much i've changed we look back and we see you know the mindset that i had when i started therapy originally in 2019 to now um sorry so i want to go back to queen's note so now we're going in this new route with Queens Noel. And it makes sense, right? Because I'm rebranding and I'm, I've am i changed. So now to have this channel and redirect and just be able to testify and share my testimony with you guys, I know that this is going to just open doors. Um, not just for me, but for you guys. So I want to walk with you guys through Queens Noel. Now Queens Noel is really about the inner circle. So that's the community within Queens Noel where... Um, we do workshops, retreats, you know, events, you know, really trying to help you guys through your journey in leadership. The help that I got from God, I feel strongly that he's leading me to help you guys, whether it comes, it's about your body, your mind, and your soul. And if you know anything, you know that I wrote a journal, created a journal called The Good Plan, Mind, Body, and Soul. And now when I look back at my channel and what God brought me through starting entrepreneurship, he's helped me with my mind, body, and soul. He's, his plan for me really is coming to pass. And although I'm not, my life is not perfect, I'm still going through stuff, I'm still struggling, but I'm in a better place that these things don't overcome me. You know what I mean? These things are not um, taking over my body and causing me sickness or discomfort. So, um, yeah, life is not perfect, but there's definitely a new quiche in the building. Okay, say hello. This is me. <laughs> a new quiche. Uh, and I'm so excited to be just launching 
my my brand, my rebrand of Queen Snow and really tapping into the inner circle and pouring into you guys. I'll use this channel to, you know, give any messages of encouragement or anything uh, within the inner circle. If you want to partake, definitely email us at queensnow at gmail.com or you can go on our Instagram and uh, click the link to join the team. Join us. Um, 2024 is going to be amazing. I've already been planning and prepping for all the things with the inner circle, but I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And I, I pray that this channel encourages you. I pray that if you're thinking of starting a channel and sharing your testimony, do it too. Like whatever God is leading you to do, it's never too late. You know what I mean? And don't be afraid to restart. I, I was nervous like to come back and be like, okay, here I am restarting. We've been here, you know, in 2018. But as I was like taking notes about like, I've been looking down at my notes too, if you guys have noticed, but like, I'm thinking about like how far I've come from 2018 to now on this channel. This channel is my evidence. It's my diary. It's the proof that God is real. And if you trust in him and you stay with him along the journey, he can do the impossible. You guys, this is only a little bit of this is just my most viewed videos. <laughs> I have uh went through with you guys and I it's it's kinda I don't want this video to go too much longer, but I do want to close out in prayer. Um this is something that I like to do. I love to pray, I love to pray for people, and I love to talk to God about problems and circumstances. He's my best friend for real, y'all. Like, he really is. And um, for me to be able to have this platform and grow this platform from the time I started till now, I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm so, so grateful. And I can't wait to see what he's about to do with this rebrand, this relaunch of everything, everything in my life, just restarting again. So um, I'm going to pray for y'all because I know that if you're watching this and any of these things resonated with you, it's not easy. It's a lot of discomfort, a lot of fear associated with new and change, but just know that God got you. So I'm just going to close out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for today and uh, for allowing me to share my testimony with these women and even men who are watching, whoever's watching. I just pray that you encourage them to let them know that there's nothing that's too hard for you, God. I pray that they just have a peace after watching this video. They feel encouraged to step out on faith and do the things that they know they're called to do. God, I pray, Heavenly Father, that even now they just start to seek you out daily, even if it's for five minutes of their day, God, that they would see the change that happens when they come in communion with you, when they come into your presence, God. God, I thank you that there's nothing that's uh, that we've done that you can't love us through it. I'm thankful, Heavenly Father, the, 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 the struggles that I've gone through, the obstacles I've gone through, for they truly have built character. And I pray that even now you're giving these people comfort through their circumstances and situations. Uh, what seems impossible, what seems too difficult, what seems too hard, God, I pray that they would tap, it, tap into a God who is who who nothing is impossible for, where there's no limits, God. God, I thank you even now that you would bless them, God, that you would cover them, that you would give them strength and courage and boldness to walk it in, walk in whatever you've purposed, purposed them to do with their lives, and that they continuously seek you, lean on you, trust in you, adhere to you, because there's no one greater. God, I thank you, and it's in your mighty name that I close this YouTube video out in... <laughs> Let the church say, amen. Okay, cut. I'm so excited. I'll see you guys in the next video.